guys, how are you? I'm gonna move back here so I can see you. Um, so we're gonna be stretching here. So we're gonna start by laying on the floor and just bringing the hands above the head, just taking some deep breaths into the nose and out through the mouth. And guys, when you're breathing in, try to like in breathe into your belly. So I'm gonna put my hand on my belly to show you. So in through the nose, you see my hand raising and then out through the mouth. In and out. Hands above the head. Good stuff. So we're gonna just gently rotate the wrists and the ankles. I don't know if you guys can see my feet. So rotate your ankles and your feet. I'll move up here so you can see my feet in the camera. Good stuff. Just rotating one way and then the other way. One way and then the other way. Good stuff. All right, we're gonna start with um, bringing in one leg doesn't matter which one. I'm going to start with my right leg in towards the chest. And what I'm doing here is I'm grabbing hold on the top of my shin. If this is not accessible, grab behind your thigh. Don't push down on your knee. And you're just pulling that knee in towards your stomach. Now, I'm going to warn you, if you have not had a bowel movement this morning, you might end up having one after we do this. Okay, because what we're doing here is we're actually compressing the colon. So on the right side, you have your ascending colon. Keep pulling in with that leg. Good stuff. And then we're gonna just gently let that leg go, straight it out in front of you, pull your left leg in. Really squeeze that leg in, getting some compression. Oh, this hip is tight on this side. You'll notice both sides are very different. My left is always tighter. It tends to be my dominant side. I'm actually getting some pinching going on. So don't, it shouldn't hurt guys. Just pull in nice and tight. Here we are compressing the descending colon. Good stuff. And let's bring both knees in now. Turn to the side so you can see what I'm doing here. And we're just gonna pull in. It doesn't matter if your knees are wide. You might want to have your, your butt might come off the floor. Try to push your hips down towards the floor as you pull your knees in. And let's rotate the ankles again one way. Get all the cracks and creaks out. Mine are always so cracky from lots of years of competitive sports. Good stuff. Awesome. Let's just start to roll back and forth. And you can grab underneath your legs, just keeping a nice tight ball. Just massaging out your lower back. You don't have to come all the way up. It can just be a little movement. I'm gonna move this thing. I don't even know what it is on my carpet over here. <laughs> back and forth. I can feel the water I drank sloshing around in my belly. Good stuff. And then let's come all the way up to seated. All right, let's put our legs straight up in front of us and just reach up nice and tall, out of the waist, out of the ribs, and down. And guys, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna fold forward, but what I don't want you to do is collapse in your upper back, okay? So you wanna think about pushing your belly down towards your thighs. So we're gonna reach up, out of the ribs, and fold forward without letting that back round until the last minute. If you can grab your toes, grab your toes, if that's not available, just grab your ankles and then just relax your head. Think about pushing your hips back as you pull your stomach and your head forward. This feels great on my lower back, which is super tight for doing a workout yesterday with Scott. Just relax here. Let's breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. And again, in through the nose, and out through the mouth, let it go, try to relax into that. Good stuff. And then slowly coming up out of that, awesome. 
We're gonna take our legs as wide as you can get them now. Okay, so I'm relatively flexible, so my legs go pretty wide. I used to be able to do the splits this way, can you believe it? Um, and we're just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna lean forward. And again, here you don't wanna like collapse in your upper back. The goal is to kind of come up on your sit bones. I'm actually pulling myself up with my carpet and keep your toes pointing up to the ceiling and slowly walk your hands forward. If this is as far as you can go, then just stay there. You'll probably feel a nice stretch in your inner thighs. I'm gonna come a bit lower because I can and just relax your head. Again, don't forget to breathe. Wherever you feel that tightness, guys, is where you want to breathe into. Always in through the nose and out through the mouth. Big breaths. Your breath is so important. It's going to help you relax. It's going to help you get rid of stress. Lower that wonderful stress hormone that keeps us alive called cortisol which also tends to run wild in most people and cause a lot of problems because we don't move enough. That's a story for another day. Just try to relax here. Feel that stretch on those inner thighs. Just try to relax. I can feel my quads tensing. Try to let them go. Awesome. Let's slowly come out of that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep that wide-legged position and we're gonna literally fold in half sideways. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach up. I'm reaching up with my right arm here. My left arm is staying on the inside. I'm bringing that left arm down to the floor and I'm reaching up. And it might just look like this for you, that's fine. We're getting a nice stretch through this thought, the side here. And then you're gonna let that head come down as low as you can. Now, if you can, you can grab onto your toe and then I try to rotate my chest to the ceiling, getting a nice deep stretch through that side of your body. Okay, only go as far as you can. Everybody's different. Don't worry about how far or not you can go. Try to breathe. Good stuff. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Awesome, just coming up out of that nice and slow. And we'll go to the other side so that the arm comes down on the inside. You're gonna reach up and over. Grab the toe if you can. Open that chest to the ceiling. Wonderful. Coming out of that, and let's bring the soles of our feet together. So you're in a diamond shape here, feet together, and you're gonna grab onto your ankles. And we're just gonna butterfly those legs a little bit here. You're gonna take your elbows and you're gonna push down on your elbows, on your knees with your elbows, and then you're gonna slowly relax that head. Good stuff, hold it here. Just breathe, try to relax. <clears throat> so if you're tuning in guys, and you wanna hop on, join in the stress stretch sesh, you're more than welcome to, or you can come back later and just watch it when you're ready. We're gonna be about at least 40 minutes here more, so, or you can just watch for sheer entertainment value, which is kind of creepy, but whatever. <laughs> oh, Facebook, good stuff. So also, if you're just tuning in, guys, um, I've been doing every morning during the week, 9.30 a.m., we have workouts going on, so you're welcome to join in with that, body weight workouts. Okay, we're going to stretch out the quads a little bit. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my leg, my left leg behind me, and I'm making an L shape, okay? You try to keep this um, shin and calf, the lower extremity, also at a right angle, like don't tuck it in too much because it's gonna put a, a lot of pressure on the knee. So just like a uh, 90 degree, 90 degree, and then you can slowly lean back and come back as far as you want. Some people can lay flat on the ground. Personally, my quads are super tight right now, so I'm gonna stay right here because I'm getting a good enough stretch. And again, just breathing. 
We're going to also do another stretch for the quads in a moment. We're just kind of warming them up here with this. This is like stage one. You can see my, my muscle is like twitching because I'm so tight. All right, coming up out of that, let's get to the other side. So my right leg is behind me now, coming back. This one's even worse. My poor right knee is all messed up, so I haven't been able to stretch it properly. If you cramp up, guys, I'm getting a bit of a cramp. That tells me I'm probably dehydrated. I know I definitely did not get enough water in yesterday, so it's my own fault. Leaning back, getting that nice stretch through the quad. It shouldn't hurt. Awesome. All right, we're gonna come onto hands and knees. I'm gonna put my scrunchie in my hair so my hair doesn't go in my face. And I'm going to come up into hands and knees. So in this position here, this is tabletop position, you wanna have your knees directly under your hips and your hands directly under your shoulders. And what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna round and arch our back. So this is called cat-cow in yoga. So really pushing up through the shoulders, getting that stretch through the back, and then arching. So when you do this, guys, you're gonna breathe as well. So we're gonna breathe in through the nose for cat, and then out for cow. Let's do five of these. And I like to do a little breath hold at the end of my in, and then let it go. You can hold at the out as well. I don't know how many we've done. We'll do two more. And out. And one more. And out. All right, from this position here, we're gonna do some um, bird dogs. So this is just um, kind of a bit of a core lower back thing, but it's always good just kind of to give yourself a bit of a base for stability. So I'm going to take my opposite arm and opposite leg, and I'm pretending that I'm reaching away. So I'm like really reaching long with my right arm and reaching long with my left foot. And I'm trying to like reach for the wall over here and reach for the other wall over there. Try not to open the hip too much. Try to stay level and then let's switch hands and let's breathe through this. We'll go nice and slow and out, in and out, switch, in and switch. Just keep breathing, go at your own pace. Just reaching away. Imagine there's like a diagonal line bisecting your body, across the body. Good stuff. All right, from this position here, this is a great chance to stretch our wrists out. So let's take our hand, point your fingers. You guys can't see it because mine are stuck in the carpet. You're gonna point your fingers away from you and you're just gonna shift your weight side to side. If you're doing a lot of like lifting like I do, um, you're using your hands a lot and we don't often, or you have a, like a manual job, assuming you're still working, you're using your hands a lot and we don't often stretch them out. So, all right, we're going to point our fingers now towards our knees. Try to keep the heel of your hand down and just gently leaning, leaning back. Good stuff. Good, and usually this next one, when I do it, everybody moans and groans. So we're gonna take the back of your hand and you're gonna put it down on the floor and try to straighten your arms out. This might be enough for you. This is gonna get your forearms big time. You can lean away, lean backwards. Good stuff. So guys, if you're tuning in, say hello. Let me know where you're tuning in from. And uh, assuming you're not stretching, if you're stretching, you're stretching your hands so you can't text or anything right now. Um, I'm just doing these stretch sessions every Sunday. 
because I do it anyway. So I figured if you guys want to jump in, that's great. Let's just sit on our heels if you can. I've got to watch my one knee and we're going to roll out the wrists while we're here and one way and the other way. And then you can stretch a little bit as well by pushing back with a hand on both sides and pushing down as well. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna stay seated on our heels like so. Okay, if you can't do that, you might wanna get like a cushion and put it under your butt so you're not putting too much pressure on your knees if it hurts, okay, it shouldn't hurt. Like I just have to watch my right knee because it does put pressure so I'm leaning a little bit towards the left. We're just gonna sit in this pose for a second. This is a great stretch for the front of the shins as well as continuing stretching out those quads. Okay, so typically people that cannot sit in this position have really tight quads and really tight shins and never stretch. So you might wanna consider trying to do this more. <laughs> awesome. Okay, from here, we're going to take our knees and we're gonna bring them wide. You're gonna to try to keep your toes together. Okay, so try to keep your butt on your heels if you can, and then you're gonna reach away with your upper body. So I'm what I'm doing here, guys, is I'm pushing back with my heels, but I'm reaching away, or with my butt, but I'm reaching away with my fingers. And you're trying to get your chest to the floor. This is wide-legged child's pose, and I'm just gonna spend a bit of time here breathing and just trying to relax in this position. Try to really uh, relax. I'm breathing in my fuzzy carpet. <laughs> Push that chest down towards the floor and let's walk our hands over now to the right side. So we're going to get a nice stretch through the left side of the body by pushing the hips back and reaching away long with that left arm. Good. And let's walk the hands to the other side. We'll do the same thing. Reaching away, pushing those hips back. Awesome. All right, coming up onto all fours, we're going to lift ourselves um, up into a plank position. So bringing your legs back behind you, just holding plank, and we're going to bring the right leg forward. So try to keep your left leg off the ground if you can. Hi, Kim. If you can't, you can drop that leg down. I'm actually going to drop mine down today. And then we're going to come up high. My head is cut off in this picture. That doesn't matter, you don't need to see my head. Okay, so here, what I'm doing is I'm pushing my hips forward. So I'm getting this deep stretch through the hip flexor or psoas muscle. And just gently relaxing into this position, getting that nice long stretch. You can put your elbow or hand on that front knee. Try not to hold too much tension. We'll hold this for a bit. Breathing. It is a gray day here in Goderich, but it's warm and the leaves or the little buds are starting to come out on the trees, which is nice. And the grass is green from all the rain. So we're having March showers, hopefully going to bring April flowers instead of April showers bringing May flowers. Although you never know around here. That snow as late as the 30th of April. I think that was like the latest I've ever seen snow. Okay, we're continuing to stretch that hip flexor. It might start to get a little uncomfortable. Just try to relax. Generally, our hips are notoriously tight from sitting. If you've been sitting around more, definitely gonna feel this. Good stuff. Let's come out of that stretch and just onto the top of that knee. And we're going to stretch out our hamstring in a different way here. So you're going to actually flex that front foot so it's pointing up to the ceiling. And you're going to imagine that you're pushing your butt away. So it's not about reaching forward, guys. It's about pushing your butt away because then you're going to feel the stretch up in 
the high heart part of your hamstring. So we'll just hold that. I did some deadlifts the other day, so I'm definitely feeling this. Keep holding that. Fixing my hair here while I'm stretching. <laughs> All right, so let's switch legs. So we're gonna bring the left leg forward and the right leg behind. And we're just coming into that beautiful hip flexor stretch. Okay, getting that nice deep stretch here. We'll spend some time here. So get into that position where you're actually feeling it. Jeff Elliott, you're late. <laughs> You'll have to come back and start from the beginning, Jeff. Good stuff. And we'll stretch the hamstring out here as well. So just onto that knee, flexing that foot forward and pushing those hips away. So now that our legs are a little bit more warmed up, we're going to take a wide legged stance. This is like a, what we call a frog stretch. So my shins and my feet are directly behind my legs. So you're, they're not together like that child's pose. Okay. And you might, you might be here. Some people might be all the way to the ground. This is again, a deep groin stretch. Okay. So be careful with this. It's, we're going to spend some time here. You can come to your elbows. And if you can, just relax your head. If you can't, you can just stay up on your elbows. And we're just gonna hang out here. We'll just have a little chat. So if you're tuning in guys, um, and you wanna start this, I would suggest maybe coming back later unless you've already stretched a little bit before you tuned in. So Christy, Jeff, um, maybe you wanna come back a bit later when this is actually posted and do it, or you guys know how to stretch, so I mean, you could stretch on your own too, right? So, all right, let's hang out here still, stretching out those inner thighs, just try to relax. Might fall asleep here. All right, slowly coming up out of that. Be careful because it can hurt coming out of the stretch. And we're gonna set up guys for couch stretch. So you might need a pillow and you definitely need a couch or something to put your foot up onto. I'm gonna show you a variation if you don't have a couch. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get into this position. It's a little awkward to get into. I hook my back foot up on my couch and I put my knee down on that pillow. And then my front foot is my support. And depending on, what is Jeff saying? I can't read that. Uh, I can't read it from here, Jeff. Sorry, I don't, I can't see that far. Okay, so here I'm pushing up. So I'm getting this really deep quad stretch, okay? So you don't wanna do this one right out of the gates. You wanna have warmed up a little bit, which we've done. So here, what I'm trying to do is push my hips forward actively, squeeze my glute, and then try to get, use this leg as kind of like a lever to push back even more. So it's uncomfortable. We're gonna, I'm gonna stay here for a good 30 seconds because my quads are super tight. And you can do this like a few times throughout the day. Um, just grab a pillow, grab your couch. Now, if you can't do this, I'm gonna show you um, an, another alternative like if you don't have your couch the other option is to get into this position and just grab your foot it's a little awkward but it is doable breathe
breathe. Awesome, careful coming out of it. I gotta watch this knee and let's switch sides. So my left knee is gonna go on that pillow. My shin is nice and close to the sofa. My right leg is coming out in front. Oh, this side's much better. All right, and we're pushing back, getting that nice deep stretch through the quad and even up into the hip flexor. It's amazing how different it is side to side. stuff. Again, don't forget to breathe. This leg is so different from my other leg. It's crazy. Awesome. Let's come out of that. We're going to come back to our stomach or to our, our floor, actually, I should say. And we're gonna just come down. All right, what is Jeff saying? Keeps freezing on our end, and we may have to do it later. Oh, um, hopefully it's not my internet. Hopefully it's just your internet. <laughs> All right, so from here, I'm gonna be on my belly, and I'm just gonna push myself up. You might wanna just come this high. You can come this high and come all the way up. Pushing my hips down here, just getting a stretch through my abs, bringing the head back. Let's just breathe. Awesome, and coming down. We're going to tuck our toes and we're going to push up into a plank position and come back into down dog. Okay, so downward dog. You wanna to try to get your heels to the ground. If you can't, bend your knees and then try to push them down. Here, I'm trying to push my head through my arms. Good stuff, let's come into that plank position again. Slowly lower down and all the way up into that cobra position. So guys, if you're watching, can you let me know if I'm coming through okay? Jeff is saying it's choppy. I'm just curious if it's me or if it's someone else's internet. Let's tuck the toes again. Let's send the hips back. Find that downward dog. And here, let's stretch out the calves. So you're going to put all your weight on your right foot or your left foot. Really push that heel to the ground and then switch sides. And let's switch sides again, stretching out those calves, trying to get the whole weight on that calf. One last time, other side, switch. All right, I'm gonna come back to that left side. I'm gonna put all the weight on my left foot and I'm gonna lift my right leg up and I'm gonna open that right hip to the ceiling. Don't fall over. You should feel a stretch through your front of your right hip. Let's take that right foot and you're gonna bring it to your left wrist. So this is pigeon. We're gonna stay up in pigeon, high pigeon for a minute. So you have this shin, it's perpendicular to your body. Your left hip is trying to meet your right foot or ankle. Do not tuck that knee or that foot behind you too much. Okay, because it'll put too much pressure on your knee. So right now we're up in king pigeon or high pigeon. And if you want, you can come down nice and low. Put your head on your hands and just chill. This is stretching out your glutes. stuff. Hey Joanne. Joanne, Nancy, if you're still watching, can you just give me a comment and let me know if I'm choppy or if I'm coming through okay? Just say I'm clear or not. Hey Julie. 
Julian. All right, slowly coming out of this side of pigeon. Hands are firm on the ground. Tuck that back toe. I'm assuming that little thumbs up meant I'm okay. Let's come back and into that down dog. Okay, all the weight's gonna go on my right foot. I'm gonna lift my left leg up, open that hip to the ceiling so I'm getting a stretch through the left side of my body. And then bring that right leg all the way, or left leg all the way forward so that we're in pigeon on this side. So again, trying to get that shin perpendicular to your body. Sitting back so that you're trying to push that right hip towards the left foot, getting that stretch through the glute. Staying up in high pigeon if you want, or if you can, you can come to your elbows or you can bring your chest down. I could stay on this side all day. It's so tight on my left. Feel free to come back to any of these stretches, guys, or just stay in them a bit longer. You don't have to follow along. I need to vacuum my carpet. I'm seeing all the little crumbs in here. I just vacuumed it too, like a few days ago. Hmm. <laughs> the things you notice on a white carpet, the worst carpet to have if you have dogs, which thankfully we don't have right now for the carpet's sake, not for our sake. Awesome, let's come out of that. Let's do one more downward dog. Pushing back. Good, and we'll go into one more plank. Slowly coming down. Let's stay on our stomach, okay? So what we're gonna do is stretch out our chest a little bit. I love this stretch. So your hand, right arm, let's start with the right side. Your right arm is um, out to the side. And guys, you wanna have it so that you're pushing your armpit towards the floor, okay? And the, the where, where you put your hand up here, you can move it around and you'll see what I mean. Like it stretches out different parts of your chest. So I'm pushing that shoulder down and then I'm gonna rotate so that I bring that left leg behind me. Now relax your head in this position. It may just look like this for you and you might be getting a deep enough stretch through your chest. So I'm pushing, actively pushing my shoulder into the ground here on the right side. I'm also getting a stretch through my left hip. If you wanna get fancy, you can bring this arm up and behind you. Good, I'm gonna to go to the other side. The left arm is out to the side. Pushing that left shoulder in. Coming up with that arm and behind you. This is where I realized that the bench press I did the other day really had an effect on my chest. I'm gonna go a bit higher now, so I'm gonna bring my hand almost above my head and rotate again on this side. It's a totally different stretch for that shoulder and chest. And then other side. Good stuff. Let's come around. Legs are going to be straight out in front. Just shake them out. Take a deep breath in. And just relax the head. And we're folding forward. Good stuff. And let's flip around. Come up to standing. I'm just going to change my camera angle so you guys can see me. All right. So let's um, let's just do some arm work here, some stretching through the hips and the waist a little bit, and uh, more of the focus on the upper body here. So I'm going to start with my knees wide, bend in the knees, and I'm just going to rotate from side to side. Just letting your arms relax. Good stuff. Okay, reaching up with your right arm. 
Left arm is on your leg. You're reaching up and over. Side bend. Good. And we'll reach up with the other arm and over. Really pushing that opposite hip away. Good stuff. So from here, we we'll grab. We're going to grab behind our body. This is another chest stretch. Pulling your shoulder blades together. Head is straight up. If you want to make this a deeper stretch, you can bend over and let those arms, the pressure of gravity, pull your arms up a little bit. I love this one. And then I'm going to let my arms go, slowly come up. All right, I'm going to push down as if I'm pushing down into the floor here, tilting your head to one side. Good, pushing down, tilting your head to the other side. Awesome, let's make some shoulder circles here. And then head circles. Awesome. Big arm circles backwards. And we're going to finish off, guys, with just some deep breaths here into the belly, out through the mouth. So we're going to bend our knees and breathe in. And let it go. And breathe in. And let it go. And breathe in. And let it go. Awesome. So guys, there's um, a million more stretches I could do with you. Um, I want to respect your time and mine as well. And um, we're going to go have a bit of a Sunday family breakfast if my stepdaughters ever get, get up out of bed. Um, so thank you for tuning in today. I hope that was enjoyable for you. Miss it. Bye guys. Jen Morris signing out.